You want to use a tool to you know, whisk up your chicken wings? <laughs> Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Now, you know how much I love ranch dressing. I have drank it straight from the bottle on camera. Nicole has poured it straight into my mouth on camera. I do not need to prove my allegiance to ranch dressing to you, but today, I will do it because we're gonna infuse chicken wings with three different layers of ranch to make our Doritos Cool Ranch Supreme Doritos Locos Dennis Rodman. Where'd that come from? Chicken wings. If you're following along at home, you can snag the time codes right there. Let's get cooking. I mentioned earlier that we're gonna try and infuse as much ranch as possible into these wings. And so I'm gonna start with a ranch brine. A ranch brine is not a thing that exists. It's something I decided exists right now. We're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna take a whole bottle of ranch. Oh wait, first all is... That's pure. You want to make sure your ranch isn't cut with any blue cheese because that happens sometimes. It's a way to make it cheaper on the streets. So my thinking here, anytime you brine a... My thinking here, anytime you brine a chicken wing, all you're doing is infusing the flavors of that brine all throughout the meat and then you're actually also tenderizing it too. Buttermilk is a common way to brine things. There's buttermilk in ranch dressing. Ipso facto, we're going to soak a bunch of chicken wings in ranch and then deep fry them. We got the whole bottle of ranch in there and we're just going to cut it with some water. That's going to give it some uh, the more water. That's gonna allow it to actually coat the chicken and penetrate it, and then we're adding, but what's the black, the, like, it's a kind of black, it's like salt, pepper. pepper. We're adding pepper to the brine, and then we're also adding salt, because the salt is actually gonna soak all through the chicken, and then we're just gonna stir that up. The chicken's gonna sit in that for 12 hours, uh, or up to one hour. Now we have chicken. So, most of the time when you buy wings at the store, they are called party wings, which like, I'm a party guy, you're a party guy. We all love to party with wings, am I right? That means that they're connected at the joint right there. But when you buy a chicken wing at a restaurant, most of the time that joint is not connected. So you have to be your own best uh, butcher today. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna run it down the joint and then cut it all the way to the bone. And then this is my favorite part of butchering chicken wings. You just get to go and expose that bone right there. And then you're just gonna run your knife at the bottom of that little mini drumette. And if you think this is gruesome, <laughs> you should do it. My dad didn't take me to a slaughterhouse to teach me about the birds and the bees when I was a kid. No, that's not what they do. They take kids to farms to teach me about that, not a slaughterhouse. I've already done these. I got it in my signature chicken wing mug. So we're just gonna dump the chicken wings out of the mug into the brine. You wanna use a tool to I'm gonna whisk up your chicken wings. We're gonna let all that tasty ranch flavor soak into the wings. Honestly, you can do this for like a minimum of one hour. You cannot do this at all, but I'm gonna brine these chicken wings. Now we are actually gonna make a sort of ranch seasoned powder. So we're taking all the flavors of ranch dressing and all you gotta do is read the back of the Hidden Valley Ranch Bottle. They are the authority in ranch dressing, I think, other than me. I wonder if I've consumed more Hidden Valley Ranch than any other person. Is there like a Guinness World Record for lifetime ranch consumption? There is one for baby food. I don't know if you know this, but Guinness officially ratified my world record for most baby food eaten in one minute. This is like a man in the Sahara finding an oasis. We took the belt back from the Germans. It's back in America, but now we're gunning for the lifetime ranch dressing record and also the snowboarding land speed record. It's like 109 miles per hour. I think I can get to 115. But right now we have to make a ranch seasoning powder. So we're just gonna take a little bit of sugar and we're gonna take salt. And then herbs. Herbs are also a big part of ranch, so one thing you're probably tasting in ranch is a little bit of dill. So we're gonna add that. And whenever I'm adding dried herbs to something like a seasoning blend, I like to just take it in my hand and kind of give it a little smush, a little, there we go. Spill a lot of it on the table. And then we're also gonna take parsley. That's just because green, because ranch has little bits of green in it, and that's what people like about it. And also the fact that it's mostly mayonnaise. If you say you hate mayonnaise, but you love ranch dressing, you are living a lie, and you need to atone for your sins. We all do in the end. And now we're gonna take paprika. Paprika is red. That's mostly what it tastes like. And then we got some garlic powder, some onion powder, and a little bit of white pepper. White pepper is one of those things that is found in a lot of like consumer packaged goods. So we're just gonna add that there and just give it a little whiskey whiskey. So Cool Ranch Doritos are like one of my absolute favorites. If you are a nacho cheese person over a Cool Ranch person, know that I am judging you for being basic. This has a lot of similarities to that Cool Ranch seasoning, but we're trying to make this like accessible for the home cook. So these are things that are gonna get you 78% of the way there, give or take three percentage points. Let's give it a little taste. It really does taste like ranch. It's that simple combination of like salt, sugar, onion, garlic, and herbs that really get you there. And so we're gonna take all that ranch powder and we're gonna dump it into flour. So this is gonna season our flour before we fry the chicken wings. So we got the ranch dressing infused into the chicken wings. We're gonna get the ranch dressing infused into the coating. And then we're gonna fry them and dip them in ranch dressing. And then we're gonna take a blood infusion of ranch dressing to finally reach our form. Like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow in Ghostbusters, I will turn into a sentient bottle of ranch dressing and I will burst through your walls in your home like the Kool-Aid man and go, oh, ranch. 
Well, let's fry some chicken wings. We're gonna whisk together all of our ranch seasoned flour, and now we're just gonna drop our chicken wings in there. You could rinse the brine off and you could dry the chicken, but for me, I like when a little bit of that moisture gives the flour more to stick to. I don't know. So we're gonna use tongs. Why did I feel the need to, you know why I felt the need to explain that we're gonna use tongs? Because most of the time I would've just grabbed it with my hands and Nicole was like, Josh, you should use tongs. And then now I am, it feels terrible. All right, so we're just gonna drop our chicken wings into the flour and then we're gonna give them a nice coat and you really wanna pack them in there with your hands to make sure all the coating sticks on. I feel like I'm always the one talking. What, uh, what do you wanna talk about? No way, she said that? That's crazy. There's just some people that, you know, they're just like that. And you know, all you can do is control, you know, your reaction to the situation. Yeah, I mean, of course her mom would, but like, who cares what her mom thinks, you know? Like, like you've, no, I know. All right, chicken, uh, oil's hot. So we're gonna drop the chicken into the oil. You wanna fry this at about 325 degrees. A lot of people say higher 350. I don't like that. And I'm kind of of the opinion that it's really hard to overcook a chicken wing. I want it crispy <laughs> at all costs. So we're just gonna drop this in there and then we're gonna fry them for about 12 or 13 minutes. All right, so chicken wings have been frying for about 13 minutes. Look at that. That is some fried chicken. I don't wanna say porn. We need a better word for something that looks good that isn't porn. What I'm saying is the chicken looks good. We're gonna let some of that rest, but I'm gonna take about half of them just cause gotta work with the size of this bowl. And I'm gonna put them right into the bowl. A little, little bit of oil drain. I like using just a solid spoon for this. And then we're gonna toss it fresh in some of that ranch seasoning. And then we're just gonna get it fresh on the wings. So you're getting it in the chicken, you're getting it on the chicken, and then you're getting it atop the chicken. That's a lot. And just give them a nice toss. And then we got our seasoned wings. Those look fantastic. But we got one more thing. So we got the ranch inside the wings. We got the ranch inside our body. We got the ranch on the wings. We got the ranch on top of the wings. We got the ranch on top of ourselves. Uh, I just smeared it all over my lips this morning. It's like adding coconut oil. It's a natural lip balm. Try it. Like when Gwyneth Paltrow told people to gargle with olive oil, I do that with ranch dressing. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make our own ranch dressing from scratch. I know what you're saying, Josh, you, you just had a bottle of ranch dressing. Why not use that? Ah. Uh... Let's make some ranch from scratch. So we're gonna start by getting our herbs. Uh, green onion might be an herb. It's not an herb, it's used as an herb. So we're gonna take mostly the tops of our green onions. I like the kind of darker green, more verdant flavor of them. It did. I got the cliff bar burps. I just ate a cliff bar. You didn't see it. That's what I was doing when we cut movie magic. <laughs> So we're gonna mince this as fine as possible. And then to that, we're also gonna add parsley. Parsley adds a lovely greenness. That's what parsley tastes like. Paprika is red, turmeric is yellow, parsley is green. Those are the flavors of all of them. And purple is only a Jolly Rancher flavor in my book. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna mince up our green. How much quantity is this? Yep. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna add some of those chopped herbs. We're gonna add buttermilk to that, and we're gonna add our mayonnaise. Like I said earlier, if you don't like mayonnaise but you like ranch, you're just lying to yourself. And we're gonna also use the whisk to put in sour cream. We have red wine vinegar here. This is gonna add that nice little acidic punch that you want with your ranch, because we got all these fatty chicken wings, and we wanna add the acid to it. Gonna drop in a little bit of salt, and then Worcestershire is gonna add a little bit of depth and complexity. And then black pepper is another thing that is commonly found in ranch. You got the little speckles in ranch. That's pepper, pepper speckles. And we're just gonna whisk this up. One more ingredient, I really like to take a clove of raw garlic and just grate it right in there. You use garlic powder, but for me, you get this like fresh little pic piquant punch when you grate fresh garlic in there. Palm heel strike, absolutely obliterate your clove of garlic. You're gonna get another clove of garlic. I want the clove of garlic intact, but I really hate peeling garlic that you haven't punched to smithereens. So I'm just gonna go ahead and claw at this with my fingernails that I just whittle down every night staring at the wall. And uh, give me about 10 minutes to get this garlic clove peeled. Another 10 minutes on this garlic clove, guys. <laughs> Fast forward 15 minutes and you have a single garlic clove peeled. And we're just gonna grate that. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. Wow, and all that's left to do is Eat the chicken wings. My fingers are slippery from the ranch, the old ranch lube. There we go. And then you're gonna take this and you just, there it is. Now we're just gonna whisk that garlic in there. Let's give it a taste. Uh... You really taste the garlic. You get that slight bit of vinegar. The buttermilk adds a nice little tanginess. More than anything, this is a great vehicle to get a bunch of mayonnaise in your body and justify putting it on fried foods. This is the perfect ranch recipe. Only thing left to do is to plate it up and then we're gonna get to inexplicably eating chicken wings with a spork.
Wow, these ranch wings look fantastic. We got the ranch infused in literally every single layer of them. They're super golden brown, just a nice light coating on them. The ranch is absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to feed them to my friend, Nicole. Nicole! Yes? Can I feed you a wing? Yeah. All right, so we love feeding our friends here, but we also love staying socially distant. That's why we are using the patented mythical spore carpoon. Great for illegal whale hunting and also feeding Nicole. Can you first dip it in the ranch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to drizzle it on the wings? No, 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 no. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll coat the wing, and then we're just gonna go ahead and spork. Hold on, I got it in the joint. Oh my gosh, great. There okay. it is, there it is. Do you want me to shove it? <laughs> no, stay there. But that's how the spork poon works. Josh, I'm gonna take it off with my mouth. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna hold it here. It. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let the whale come oh, to oh. the harpoon. Oh, you got oh. it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How is it? Wow. Wow. Ranchy. I accept that I love ranch more than other people sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to always like the same thing, but I am offended when you don't like my music choice. Josh, this tastes like there's a lot of MSG in it, but there isn't, huh? There's no MSG. That's the crazy. We didn't use any crutches in this. This is delicious. I don't know why people haven't done this before. Have they done this before? Not that I know of. Josh, you're a genius. And you just got spork pooned. Thank you so <laughs> much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We got new recipe videos out every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dogs and Sandwich Out. Every Wednesday, hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you next time. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.